Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second Demon's Run. Ryan is going to be our DM today. You can see him in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, this is one of the campaigns, one of the, the battles that is part of this larger Hardcore Heroes storyline. There was already a Demon's Run 1, which I won't spoil, but it was a nail-biter. Uh, Demon's Run 2 is going to have fewer players, but slightly higher level characters. And uh, why don't we just get to our characters? Why don't we start with Fuzzy Freaks? Who are you and who are you playing today? Hello, I'm Fuzzy Freaks. I'm playing Rock Grub the Fighter. She's a demon slayer thing. She, she's, 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 she hits things really hard with a sword. And probably going to die a lot. Lovely. Next up, we have Fayama for you. Who are you and who are you playing? Um, well, I'm Fayama for you, and I'm playing... <laughs> Uh, Frida the Red, who's a glaive-wielding uh, dwarf, very, very uh, furious fighter, um, who's here because there obviously is not enough dwarven representation, you know, and uh, dwarves have to do their part, so she's here to do her part. Lovely. Next up, we have Neca, the man in charge of all the bots and making sure everything works all the time. Who yeah, are you and who are you playing I, today? I am Neca. I'm the guy that, you know, is in charge of breaking the bots and i'm playing greenleaf today a thin uh elf with long luscious golden hair the bow uh and i'm going to be in charge of sniping lovely and last but not least we have shannon freud Yes, hi. I'm uh, um, I'm Old Mighty. I mean, I'm playing a cleric of Vomator named uh, Schadenfreude, and um, he's a member of the circle of the uh, of the um, circle of the Scarlet Smile, who um, knows that uh, for people to uh, be able to enjoy their lives in cities and towns, there need to be people who enjoy killing those that are evil, and who need to be stopped. Who want to take the joy away from you so um yes that's me excellent that's all. uh i'm gonna hand it over to ryan and he will tell you anything else he deems important for you to know about the battle and the map and the session and i'm just gonna shut the fuck up and let you guys take it from here hello i'm ryan aka hobgoblin i will be uh, your demon master today uh so um, if you don't know what's going on, this is Demon Run. It's basically a one shot, so stick around. But if you're curious on more of the backstory, this is kind of the culmination of all of Koibu's Arcadia campaigns, specifically Hardcore Heroes, over the past couple of years. Um, but today is just going to be a nice, epic demon battle. We're on uh, the northeast corner of the continent, on the coast. Um, and our party of brave heroes will be defending this crystal from the demons. Um, party, any last minute prep you need to do before we roll into initiative? You've spent the last week or so erecting this, uh, this pier to protect the, uh, the crystal. Uh, we can see in blue like the, the barricade that it, that it creates. Uh, Schadenfreude, you've got some giant insects. But uh, other than that, speak now or speak now or roll for initiative. Well, the insects are um, put on guard mode to protect the cell phone way up. Um, because I think that's the fastest way to us. Uh, the demons should take longer, I guess, uh, through the water. So I guess in preparation, we put the insects um, in the cell phone area to protect the first assault, the first wave. And yeah, sure. that's it. Sure. Uh, and is there a way to take cover before, like, is there, is, is there actually a higher wall? Or is it you can just shoot straight across the beach? Um, you can shoot over. It's a rocky, like a rocky peninsula. You could probably hide behind a rock if you're crouching or something. Uh, yeah, I'd, so be, I'd be crouching. Yeah, so now is, your, now is your chance stuff. to place your tokens where you want them to be. You're probably waiting around for the day or so. Maybe you've scouts have spotted demons in the distance, but you don't know exactly when they'll come. So put your characters where you want them. Um, 
elven archer. You've got 40 arrows on your character sheet, but if you want any arrow stashes, you can indicate those on the map. Um, sure. I will do that. And then, yeah, so you can maybe put a little put a little dot where you want some arrows. Maybe pick two or three locations. <laughs> Other than that, I think we're about ready to go. Um, we will be using group initiative just because there's a lot of dudes, a lot of giant insects. So uh, each round we'll trade off rolling a d10. We ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All ready. I will be uh, rolling behind the behind the GM screen because uh, because hacks. Who did that? Who did that ant bite? Huh? I think that was just a test from earlier. This was just the testing the macro. Okay. <laughs> Nobody yet. All right. Everything's fine. Okay. When you are ready. I'll take a take a D10 from uh, from the party. Fuzzy, are Quick. you going to start the rolls? Oh god. <laughs> that's good. Oh, oh, that's even better. No, but no, we, never we, mind. We have, we can save we have the one. The, we can save take that for the next later. round, Faye. <laughs> yeah. So you have initiative. You can ready actions. I think you you spot the first few shapes moving down this uh, this valley here. Demons approaching! Yeah, the, the uh, keen elven eyes sort of spot right. them in the distance. Some movement amongst the trees. Lego, um, uh, <clears throat> green, green leaf, are you, are you sure your eyes are working properly? Ah, uh, they were working last night. The southwest, across the beach. There's sort of this little, little canyon. It's maybe a oh, yeah. nearly empty creek bed that empties into this bay. Um, demons had cover up until now. Any prepared actions? Or any actions to prepare? Well, I have I no range, range attacks. I'm just range crouching. Yeah. yeah, I'm range just... Uh, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Or oh, wait, do they... <laughs> what color? Hmm. I assume this map's to scale, so they are it like is to scale. 300 plus. So they're out even they're out of my farthest range. That's I don't think that's true. Uh, oh, those your range, range is in yards, range. and you right. are a bow. You are a bow. you're a bow master. You're an elf, so it, and your name is Greenleaf. So I think you're a high master, which gives you extreme range. So, so what I do I why yards by to get feet? <laughs> Yeah, so you can either take a shot or ready in action to take a shot when they're in a more favorable range. Oh, multiplied by three. Okay. Um, so, yeah. 300 feet is the second range. So I could probably take a shot now. Yeah, if you would like to. Is, is there any bonuses I can get for, like, spending an action to aim? Or uh, not? You can hide, or you could have hidden as preparation get like a surprise or a, um, like a, if they can't see you, you get a bonus to hit. Neko, mm -hmm. <clears throat> before you let loose of your, of your bow, can I quickly cast a bless spell on the party so you get plus one to your attack roll, if you don't mind? Great. Okay. <clears throat> so. Dear friends, find joy in killing demons. Be blessed by Womator. And I cast Bless on a 50 feet cube, which should uh, cover everyone. Is there a limited number of targets or does it? Uh... Uh, no, everyone in a 50 feet cube. So even my giant insects should be blessed by Womator. Yeah. How long does that last? Six rounds. Yeah. Still, feel... round I feel calculation pretty, pretty six. Blessed. Yeah, it's good, it's good. I feel a party coming on. Um, so, I say, taking a sip of my half coconut filled with rum. Were we going with the uh, with the mai tais and the and the, and the lays, or is that not? Uh, you're you can be sitting there sipping a mai tai. 
you hear the elf let up the alarm. Sipping my tie. Cleric blesses. All right, are you taking that shot now, or are you ready for a demon to like step out of behind cover? Uh, I'll wait until they're out of cover. Okay. Okay. So you've got an action readied, and uh, the demons begin to move. Um, first, you see uh, scampering across the beach bunch of these flesh-colored dog-looking things. Um, do you want to take a shot at these, or are you waiting for... Uh, I'm looking for, something, for more... something a bit more beefy and, you know, yeah. in command. Out, and then... We have uh, these warrior demons. I can uh, give descriptions of, uh, of appearance if you'd like, but uh, humanoid, vaguely humanoid, black iridescent plates wielding massive obsidian swords make their way out as well. Ah, worthy foes. You think they're gonna jump across the little islands there? Um, that is up to you. So right now, these uh, these dogs run to the uh, to the shore and they look skeptically at the water. Um, they don't enter it yet, and they sort of queue up there. Um, meanwhile, these warriors are making their way along the beachhead. I'm doing some distance calculations. Movement rate twelve. They can go a hundred. 20 feet or so. So I think this first round contingent of demon moves like Darish. Any shots? Yes, I will take a shot at. Well, I think that big massive ship is a little bit in the way, but. I'm gonna try. Where are you? You're probably. I'm gonna try this, this kennel master looking guy, um, with the whip and the sword. Down I think at... that's. I think that's fine. You can make it. You can get a clear shot. 250 feet. I think that's medium range. So I'll just. Correct. I think I'll just click the button. Yeah, it should all work. And then actually. Um, there will be a minus two for range, at least a plus two for surprise, or for you being ready and hidden. Yep. Uh, Fifteen versus what you call him, the kennel master, then, the task so master. Plus. plus will be an additional plus one. Uh, uh, this six. guy, I believe, only has yeah, he is unarmored. This is uh, the largest of the demons that you see. Um, over seven feet tall, hunched pair of uh, large curved bony plates extending from its face. I think it's got big fake wings. Maybe a whip or something. Yeah, a whip. Um, that 15 will hit. And because uh, you are blessed by Volmator, I'll go ahead and uh, give you double damage. Uh, so they can roll another d6. Uh, there should be you should have more bonuses to your damage. Oh, uh, that's all it's saying here now. Did you use the macro or did you use the macro? It's just um, a d6 plus one. Okay, it should be plus you are a master. I think it should be plus two to damage, but let me double check your sheet real quick. Greenleaf. Combat. Let's see, basic. Oh no, it's only plus plus two to hit, plus one to damage. At point blank, it's plus three, plus three. All right, cool. So you do 2d6 plus one or 10 points of damage to the Taskmaster. Nice. He lets out a roar and points in your general direction. Um, I think you pissed it off. Oh, there's the Taskmaster roaring. Oh, I hope so. Oh, good. Well, you know, better you than me. <clears throat> um, 
Uh, and I think that may be it for this uh, for this first round. So we'll go ahead and roll initiative again. I rolled a 10, remember? You can re-roll <laughs> if you want. That was after oh. the... Okay, that's actually really I... another, another 10. Two. Pretty good. Let's see. I don't know how to do the initiative tracking on the bless, but maybe I'll figure that out later. Um, In any case, you guys go first. Uh, I will take a shot at the Taskmaster again. Then. Actually, you get take a bunch of shots. You should get three shots around. Three shots. So go ahead and make three now. Two for the end of last round, and one for this round. A hail of arrows from our elven archer. Oh, that's a critical miss. Uh, so let's see. You crit on a... 16 or higher, mm -hmm. 30 clears by, it, so you do max crit with that 30. Double damage as well? I think he's, I think he's dead. I think your blessed arrow blows into pieces, but roll. Ah. I think that would be, so, should I double, double the triple? Let's just do four, four times damage dice. So four. For the crit. And then, and then one extra for the hit. Yep. And then, is there one more, or is that all of it? <laughs> uh, that's it, oh, because of okay. the fitness. Okay, so not quite dead. Not dead. And roll a saving throw versus death for that critical miss. Uh, just d20? Yeah. 16. You're fine. No broken bow strings or anything. Oh God. Anyone else in the party? You standing your ground, taking cover. Uh, I'd actions. like to use fair in action to uh, wang a uh, javelin at anything that comes within range. So that's like sixty feet, I think. Yeah, you're. I think it's probably sixty yards. Um, yeah, it's feet. Whatever. It's sixty you're something. A rock grub. Let's see. Combat. Is it under gear? Basic, isn't it? Um, Basic, no. Oh, no, sorry. Com yeah, combat, there we go. Javelin, range 20, 40, 60. 20, 40, 60 yards, so 180 feet. <coughs> uh, it might actually be longer. If you would like to use your magic javelin, <laughs> that actually is 90 yards. Mm, I'm, sa I'm saving that for... What? I don't or you can throw a regular them. javelin. Yeah, regular minus... javelins for now. I'm, I'm saving the special ones. For you can me. actually, I'll allow you to make a long range javelin throw at this front demon. Okay. With just a standard javelin. So it'll be I... a minus five to hit. You can either uh... click the macro and it'll add a minus five. Or... Uh... Is that it or? Um, no. Oh, no, okay. Um... 10, it should oh, be. No. Be a, you can just roll a d20 plus uh, plus six, I think, for your level. Uh, okay. So d20 plus one what? total. One d20 plus one, was that? Yeah, including the range penalty. Okay, 16. I have not seen that show up yet, but I will uh, take your word that it's 16, and that will be a hit against these unarmored warriors. Okay. And, um, and then you'll roll damage. d6 plus one for your strength. Oh, that's an exclamation mark. There we go. Ooh. Very nice. Very good. Max damage. Uh, and that's blessed. So roll an extra d6. Um. Two. So nine points of damage. <laughs> Get Hearty right. blow versus this warrior demon. And now uh, the demons go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> oh. I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast a. Uh, Produce flame, second level spell, lasts seven rounds and uh, gives me the ability to put things on fire and lop fire like uh, 30 or 40 yards. If you'd like, um, you can throw one this first round. I don't know what the range is on that thing. 40 yards. 40 yards, so probably not. So 120 range. feet. So 
probably um, not in range yet, um, but you can ready an action. Yes, I'm going to tell... Uh, ready a th throw it as soon as they're within range or something. I'm not going to throw it at the enemies. Um, I'm not interested in doing that. Um, Frida, Rock Grub, position yourself more for, more to the north. Okay. Like 20 feet, 30. I paddle backwards, uh, I guess, and I crouch yeah. between these rocks here, next to the arrow stash. I kind of go over there. <laughs> And I'm gonna lob fire at uh, 20 feet. Is it right? Hey, before he burns. How much? How much is? Is it one yard? Is three feet right? Correct. Yeah, one to three. Okay. Uh, I cast a spell, so I can't move right now, right? Um, so I'm not gonna. You can. I think you can move half your movement. Okay, now I'm trying to get down here first. Uh, wait, were you on the? Have... Were you on the pedestal? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can move at that point. Uh, okay, maybe great. if you roll a successful dex check, you can like climb down a ladder while casting a spell. So you can walk casually, <coughs> but athletic maneuvers like climbing down a ladder and hopping across a rock. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay here, it's fine. Yeah. And I'm gonna do that you, you can pro I'll allow you to hit the edge of this, uh, of this pirate ship if that's what you're aiming for. Um, yeah, but that, that's too close, uh, but thank you. <laughs> Well, thanks. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm gonna stay up here. I'm just gonna cast previous flame. Okay, so you uh, conjure a flame in your hand. Yeah. And uh, the demons advance. So we'll start with this bunch. This troop of warriors moves to about there. Taskmaster growls and whips these dogs towards the edge of the water uh, where they queue up and look skeptically at the water. Um, and then advancing out from behind cover comes slithering these guys. They look like uh, enormous snakes, the largest snakes you've ever seen. Perhaps like a cobra, big frill lying flat along their back. And they slither. Let me check their movement rates. Standards. Yeah, 12, but I think can move their full rates and attack. So these serpents queue up along the shoreline. Range about 100 yards is medium range. So it looks like you're within medium range, but you were all taking cover, I believe. So there's minus two for range and minus five for cover. So we're looking at like a minus seven to hit. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like eight of these guys. All right. So they uh, lay on their bellies. The tail curls up and whips a barrage of spines in your general direction. Um, sixteen. I think they need natural twenties. No one has sixteen AC, right? I don't. Yeah, so these are going to be useless. They may divert their attention to those. Uh... Gosh. A couple 18s, but with all of your cover, nothing strikes home. Uh, but the sand is pelted with these little spines. Um, and I think that will be it for the demons this round. Uh, Neca, you'll have a couple shots at the end. Yep, I'll take two more. Well, I'll try one at a time at Taskmaster. Um, that should clear by 10. 26, yes. Oh, no. So that will be 
assuredly enough to kill. So that's a double crit plus the bless. I think that's another max. That's like a 46. That's more than enough to... So, so your more... blessed arrow flies straight through his chest out the other side. And uh, the taskmaster collapses in a heap. Nice. Uh, then I'll take a... Well, I'll keep my attention on this side, I guess, and take a shot at one of these... Um, Dog-looking things, I think you described them as. Yeah, they look like flesh-colored dogs. Which ones? Right across the... Uh, over here? Uh, on the same side. I just figure that it'll be on the... Uh, where my attention is if I'm focusing on the Taskmaster. Can you ping your target? Uh, I'll take the this one. Okay, so those are those are the warrior demons. They're humanoid, um, right. building swords. Uh, yeah. Okay. The one that's already been hit, hit by a javelin. I've been I've been taught focus fire in my archer school. Uh, and another D6 with the last, I guess. If 16 hits. Um, 16 will just hit. Uh, Blush should also give you a plus one to hit if you haven't been adding that. Uh, plus one as well? Yeah. Uh, so that would be 10 total. 10 total. Right. Still standing. Barely. And I think that will be it for this round. So let's go ahead and roll initiative again. Gosh, this game is so slow. Uh, um, three. Um, let's see, why, what have I done? Oh gosh. I'll figure out this initiative tracker at some point. Um, Party's turn again. Then do you want to go first, or? Yeah, uh, I'm going to climb down the ladder. Hey, Tails. <clears throat> uh, I want to go to the edge here of the tree, and then a lop, uh, a, a ball of fire to the farthest away sail of the ship. Okay, so you, yeah, climb down. You, if you're, yeah, if you're not casting spells or anything, you can climb down the ladder. No, no, no trouble. Hop across the rocks, move over here, and throw a fireball at the sail. Um, yeah, it's, make it's a considered short range. I think, yeah, I don't think there is range on this. It's just like, as long as yeah. it's in, within range, no penalties. Uh, make a roll to hit. Yeah and just don't miss poorly. 14. 14 should be fine. You hit the sail. Um, go ahead and roll some sort of saving throw. The sail certainly catches flame. Natural 20. Um, so the sail catches flame, but the ship itself doesn't look like it's gonna light. So you burn a massive that's, hole that's in the sail. It's a three feet combustible. Yeah. Yeah. And it puts, uh, it just says that it uh, puts flammable material and simply on fire. Yeah. Uh, which sail did you, did you get? The last one, the big one. I just okay. want to start to, 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 uh, to start, uh, that it starts burning. That, that's all yeah. I want to achieve. Um, it starts burning and it stops. So you can, yeah. So that sail will burn, uh, but the ship itself is not going to catch. If that makes sense. No, but how long does the sail take to burn down? Uh, a round or two. Okay, yeah. this round or two? I mean... By next round, the sail will be gone. Okay, good. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, cool. Anything else? Elf? Hmm. Neka, take a shot. Uh, yeah, if no one else is doing actions, I'll take two more shots at the end. Uh, I will... Oh, I was going to say, I was going to um, take a... a I was going to throw another javelin. Go ahead. Is it still one for the javelin? Uh, um, okay. You're blessed. You have plus six for your level. Where are you? Rock grub. 
Um, I think you need to, what was the range? Is it 60 yards? Um, yes. So you're at long range. So it should be plus two total. So that's 1d20 plus two? Yeah. Uh, that's 11. 11 will bounce off of uh, an iridescent plate on one of these demons. Damn it. I've taken another sip on my mind. <laughs> Maybe you should put the Mai Tai down and focus on your javelins. Not yet. There's still time. <sighs> All right, Neca. Javelin. I am going to pay my attention over here to these. I don't know what they are. They're like black, spindly, scary demon things. Uh, which one? So there's some serpents and there's some dogs. These serpent things, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they were lobbing the spikes with their tails quite ineffectively, uh, actually. I will turn my attention to the the, the uppermost the two uh, arrows. And his... Looks like you probably have a straight shot on some of them. Yeah, these guys, these top couple, you can hit. Actually, you can hit most of them without obstruction. Um, you are at, let's see if it's almost 300 feet. Is that long range or medium range? Uh, 300 feet is medium range. Okay, so minus two to hit. Plus two from regular. Um, so yeah. Um, so I've already rolled uh, 26 and 18. Okay, uh, the 26, is that including penalties? Yeah, um, you should normally have like plus 11 to hit. I'm not these sure macros, are, are you rolling off your character sheet? I'm just clicking the character sheet like this, yeah. Something's wonky uh, with the macros, unless you already checked like rain, a range penalty. Or maybe I clicked the wrong one. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Um, 26 clears by 10. 18 is just a regular hit. So go ahead and roll uh -huh. triple damage on the crit. Actually, quadruple damage because of the bless. Triple from bless, plus one, uh, and the regular on the second. Okay, so that doesn't quite kill, and then just double damage with your uh, blessed shot is enough to bring this hydra down. Nice. Cool. Anything Technic else? Technical question. If I start walking down the beach at some point, are these ants gonna eat me alive? Um, I don't know. Yeah, Tell us, okay, Sam. well, I'm, you've I'm been, staying you've been here raising then. These, you've been raising these ants for the last couple of days. They're on guard mode. They're on guard mode. I don't know. Do you trust the spare ants? I'm staying in guard mode then. Okay, so let's start off with the commander. You see, uh, walking to the waterfront, tall and slender and purple. Uh, small bony plates, wielding a cloak of dyed woven hair. I think only the elf has good enough eyes to see how creepy his cloak is from here. Um, his jaw hangs open creepily wide as he points to you, Cleric. He casts a spell. Schadenfreude, that's your name. Uh, roll a saving throw versus spell. Does my wisdom uh, defense apply? Uh, it is not mind affecting. No. Okay. Pass. All right, the spell still goes off, but you are not stuck with it. However, an eerie supernatural silence descends upon the beach. Let's see. Probably oh. something like this. It's a 15 foot radius. Um, you don't quite realize that, but it's fine. 
Oh, whoops. Whatever. Okay. Do you think everything just get a bit more peaceful? Yes. Uh, just, just, for, just for Schadenfreude. Well, okay, oh, no, maybe but, maybe uh, his barking the barking order has suddenly stopped. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> you oh, can finally so concentrate. More relaxed. I don't know why. <laughs> I finally um, achieved Zen. Let's see another volley of spines. There is a natural twenty. There is finally a hit. Um, I think it's on Schadenfreude. You're the most exposed. So that would be just a wee bit of damage, and then you need to make a constitution check. So two points of damage. That's a 26. Send muted. No, 26 on my contract. Okay. Yeah. That's you. Okay. So, no problem. The oozy, drippy green poison is definitely not a problem. And you just take two points of damage from the missile. Yeah, got it. Um, the rest clatter harmlessly against the rocks. And the warrior demons advance. Done. They can close all the way with these ants and approach. Um, I don't think your giant ants get ready to actions unless you want to lawyer. Have oh, that command gone? was guard, right? Guard? Yeah, okay. I don't know. So you can make attacks. Yeah. Yeah. So you can make attacks at some point this round. Uh, if you want, you can go first. Do you know how these ants work? Do you know their stats and everything? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, I make an attack roll um, each time. I have a macro for the attack roll for the bite. And wait, let me put down the music here. That's crazy. Um, I have a macro for the attack roll for the bite. If the bite hits, we need to check if the sting also hits. Uh, otherwise, it's only the attack. Uh, it's only one attack. If the first attack hits, then they try to make a second attack. So okay. that's how it works. Go for it. 23 to hit. That will hit. Ooh, boy. To hit. Okay, so, dang. Um, I think I'm going to say these are not blessed ants. I didn't even add that, so. Okay, so we're not going to do double damage. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, does the fight go? They can oh, get the plus one to hit, the the demons, but I'm yeah. not going to consider fine. their teeth blessed weapons. Um, and it's fine. So is that a uh, 14 damage total? 14 damage total, yes. It's uh, a bite and a sting. That's the first and second and it's a 10 and a seven. I guess they both miss. Both miss. And they always uh, try to attack the same one if possible. 21 is a for hit. Or five damage. I think that's got to be against this one here. Five points of damage and the sting attack misses. What is the sting? Um, the sting is declared as just, uh, just as, oh, sorry. A successful save reduces the damage to one, to a d4. Um, it, it's not, it's not, um, said if it's, um, if it's poison, but I assume it's poison, right? Sure. Now that you look at it, might be, I guess. So you can roll a save versus, um, which is undefined. If you want to do that, it's a fail, so just full damage. Okay. This is so way too complicated. One. I'm gonna have to kill these ants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fourth one miss. is a miss as well. The fifth one is a twenty to it. Nettie twenty. Yeah, uh -huh. that's a crit. Sting misses, but you can roll another bite damage. Seven, so twelve points of damage. Ooh. This Two ants ganging up on this demon almost bring well. down, and the final ant is a miss. Yeah. And the demons return fire. Come on, little ants. Uh, let me check my bonus. What is ant AC? Um, uh, 17. Yes. 
So we've got a 10. Those are beefy. Uh, 22 will hit the second ant for five points of damage. Yep. Gosh, these ants. I'll go ahead and mark their damage. I did already. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, 24 will hit. For, which one? Uh, I'll go ahead and mark them for 10 points of damage. Okay. Um, just going down the line. Uh, an 18 and a 13. So an 18 is a hit, correct? Yes. Uh, for nine points of damage. Um, and man. second attacks. The warrior demons get second attacks with their swords. I believe the archer gets some second attacks. If you have not made actions this round, you can like throw a javelin or something. Uh, 20 mm. is another hit. For 11 points of damage on this first ant. Is that one already hit? This ant only have seven max HP. Yeah. That ant's dead. Well, did I even make... I think you made a first shot. Yeah, you took down a Hydra, right? Maybe. Oh, I did that with two shots. Wait, did I do the that? end of last round? Yeah, the end of last round. Miss. 18 is a hit for five points of damage, which is enough to finish this ant off. Twenty one um, and twenty four. Let's see, seven points. Finish this ant off. Poor ants. Not sorry. All right, and nine points of damage will wound this last ant. Demon warriors hack into these insects. They're mm. obsidian swords. Bits Is it time to be proactive, lads? Everywhere. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just let let the ants fight off the demons. <laughs> oh, oh that's God, they've all got right. names. Second shots. Uh, I accidentally made two shots at the start of the round when I should have okay, only so make one, one more now. Uh, I can still move if I want, right? Sure. Yeah, you can have moved over the course of this round. Um, <laughs> Twenty. Which one are you? Tar what are you targeting? Uh, well, Hydra is at, at the opposite side of the. All right, so that block. looks that looks like a proper attack roll. Yes. Um, except there's a minus two, I think, for range, but that's I fine. Super. So it's just a standard hit. Okay. So two d six plus two. Nine points of damage. Right. Let's mm. let's roll initiative. <laughs> Fuzzy, have you made a javelin attack? I did at the start, yeah. You did at the start, okay. I think, pretty sure, yeah. yeah. Who's rolling this time? Oh. oh. I was about to, but then I heard Faye typing. Yeah. <laughs> These demons are so slow. All right, mm. you go again. God, I totally Excellent. dorked up. I'm finally closing. Track. I'm going to finally fourth, close the gap. I think this is the fourth round of Bless and uh, oh. Party's turn. Yeah. Can I go okay. first? I'm going to walk up here. Can I, can I go first? Oh, no, has, I'm going to walk up here. He hasn't had a chance here. to stab anything yet. I haven't had, I'm impatient, okay? I have been watching these ants okay. for turns and turns. I don't have a I'm ranged sorry. weapon. I'm angry, okay? I'm walking up. I don't care if I'm getting an ant okay. I'm walking right here. I'm going to walk over the corpses of Betsy and Renee right over here. Okay? Oh, you named all of these ants? Yeah, they are named. apparently named, yes. Patsy, um, <laughs> Renee. And I'm going to get my giant glaive out and yeah. try to swing at the one that is already hurt if I can. Yeah, you actually have reach, so you can even stand like five foot in the ants. You can... Renee. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going yeah, are these two foot squares or five foot squares? Um, either way, you can stand five feet away. 
Right. The way I am is right is okay. Is that fine? Um, is that five? That's, that's too far, I think isn't it? Yeah, it's fine though. They, they'll need to like break within reach to close with you. Okay, I'm just right. gonna roll without adding it should, anything. The macros up. should work. Uh, you'll have a plus one for the bless, but otherwise, yeah. got like a plus. First attack. Oh, that's a crit. Um, uh. Clears by, including the blast, it clears by 15. So that's like a max crit. So you do like four times dice, including the, the nearly uh, dead demon. Is that the nearly dead one? Yeah. Yes, it was the nearly dead one. I guess I just add the 3d10. Is that how it works? Yeah. Uh, you, there's probably a macro for rolling damage. Although, okay. And there's also plus five. Six, seven damage on top of that. We can right. Well, my really my normal macro is the one d ten plus six. Right. That's my normal damage. Yeah. Um. Make a. I'm gonna be kind and let you uh, cleave into the demon next to it. So can you make a second attack roll? That's a natural one. That's a natural. One. Never mind. All right. Do you want a death? This no. Fine. This is a freebie. So you obliterate this poor demon. Bring the glaive down on top of it. Just slice it in two, all the way to the sand with your magic glaive. Maybe okay. you hit the other demon, but there's like a bit of like leg wedged onto it, so it doesn't actually do any damage. Yeah, I don't know. Um, How many attacks do I have? You get two, two I attacks. Two attack, around. I get two attacks. The, sec the second one's at the end of the round. Right. Okay. That right. is my turn. Okay. Rest of the party. <clears throat> so let's quickly do the ends so that we're done with that stuff. Uh, it's a thirteen to uh, hit. Miss. Second and eight to hit. Miss. Final Third, ant. 11 to hit. Give a miss as well. Yeah. Do the ants stay where they're placed or? <laughs> yes, they're just going to stay where they are. Um, yeah. But I'm going to move. Yeah. Uh, I guess to the location where. Ah, you can hear the sound of the ocean again. Oh, that's so great. And because I like it so much, I'm going to cast pyrotechnics on the sail. Oh. Go for it. Do you want to tell me what that spell does? Yes, I'm going to post it. There we go. Pyrotechnics draws on an existing fire source to produce either of two effects. So which effect are you going It's the first one. The only one, one I put into the description, okay. yes. You can produce a flashing and fiery burst of glowing fireworks. One round creatures in, under, or within 120 feet are blinded for three rounds unless they successfully save. Have you measured distances? I think you're yes. all affected. Um, well, uh, she isn't affected because she's more than 120 feet away. And these demons there. are... Oh. Uh, I guess this one is, but this one isn't. Yeah, so I think the shore is too this far one. away. Maybe the closest ones yeah. are affected. All these demons are affected these front lines are. I think the farthest warriors are not. Actually, that works out pretty well for you. Yes. I think it's just these warrior demons that are within 120 feet. Maybe this poor ant. Yeah, no, you just need to um, fail the saving throws, then I'm very happy. Otherwise, I'm not. These guys hmm. are not. Yeah, so it's all of these here. Okay, so I've got one, two, can you roll two saving throws for your ants? I got one, two, yeah, four, eight, three, four, four, five, six, seven demon saving throws to roll. Um, what are the monster saving throws? Um, well, I need to pull it up for myself, so give me just a second. Screen. Um, well, how many hit die are your ants? Three. Three hit die? Uh, so they yes. need to clear a 16. They get plus one because they're uh, blessed. Uh, okay, there they both fail. So they're both blind as well for three rounds. All right. Um, that's a fail, a fail, a pass, a pass, a fail, a fail. So we've got. Go ahead and mark these demons with a what looks like a good blind marker. How many rounds is this? How many rounds is it last? Three rounds. 
three rounds in total. So blind, blind. Blind. And blind. Cool. Did you add that to the initiative order? Or did Neil just do that? I, think uh, Neil I guess that. Neil did that, yeah. Cool. Thank you. My go. And yeah, rest of the party. Right. Uh, I'm going to move over here, stand on Patty's corpse, and take a swing at this demon that's been blinded. Do it. Uh, there will be an additional either. You can just roll and I'll subtract four from there, I see. Okay. Yeah. E. Um, you're blessed. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that so does hit. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. Um, Add an extra die on top, right? Yeah. That's probably in, roll another D8. Roll another one D8 for the for the bless. I uh, just did, didn't I? Oh, there you go. Five. Just enough. Okay, so you bring this blind warrior demon on the end. He screams, staggers off this rock, and dies. <laughs> um, you can take a freebie shield punch if you would like with your uh, sword board fighting proficiencies. Um, no reason not to. It's not particularly effective, but... Okay. Uh, so that just be just uh, this? I think there should be a shield punch on the sheet. It might uh, not be including the... Okay, well, that's a I, miss. I just used... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, the plus one for Bless? There's a plus one for Bless. Oh, this guy's blinded as well. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead and roll D4. Uh, let's see if this damage can be... Yes. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> one damage. Roll one more. Your shield's blessed too. Get the most out of this bless spell before I regret it. Three damage. <laughs> Better that than You're not regretting it yet? Wow. Well, okay. And to do that, you'd need to, you'd need to step like there-ish or something. Mm-hmm. Close enough to shield punch the demon. Mm. All right. Meet me and my amp bros. Hold the line. Yeah. All right. Uh, Archer, bow shots. I am going to, seeing spell casting from over, across the beach, I'm going to go against this robed cultist commander looking guy. Um, so see it's literally 294 feet <laughs> just <Okay>. within. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it looks like you've got a clear shot. There's a tree in the way. I got a good shot either way. Uh, I did add bless to that as well already. Okay. 28. That is a hell of a shot. Sniper. So, um, how much damage? A lot. Too much. Um, let me I check script. my AC. I don't think this guy's armored. Ooh. So, gosh, and he's right on the shore. Holy crap. Uh, 28. Yeah, that's maxed. So, roll 46. 13. I rolled low. Ish. Commander screams in pain, Ooh, echoing out over the battlefield. Well, it's them, and then I get two more shots after. Yeah, uh, demon's turn. Assuming everyone's oh. made their first round. No, 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 no. Second glaive, second glaive. Uh, right. You get that after the demons. So at, oh, the, end of the, at the end of the round, okay. everyone gets their second shots. Right. The demons make their first. Um, guys are not blind. So this demon will step forward and attack you, Faye. Uh, 14 is a miss. Uh, this one will hit with a 24 against the ant for 11 damage. Slaying... can't quite read it. Selene? Selma? Selma. Selma's dead. Sorry, Selma. <laughs> Um, this one is blind. Let's uh, see what happens. One, it does attack straight ahead. So it will swing in the direction of the blind ant. Blind on blind, I think negates penalties to hit. It's Gets minus, minus four, four to minus hit, four, but the yeah. ant has minus four on their AC. Um, so with a bumbling 17, that's just the number, right? So it does hit yep. this ant. I don't think it'll kill it. Four points of damage. Um, 
the ant accidentally stumbles into the sword. Um, these demons here can see, so they'll advance. Rock grub. Critical miss. 11 is a pass on saving throw, so no major ill effects. Um, this guy closes to here uh, and hits the ant. Six damage. The ant's still alive. One more non blind guy. He advances and growls at his comrades. To, so this one sort of stumbles forward, bumps into him. Demon turns around and they start barking at each other. Why don't you watch where you're going? Uh, let's see if this is seven. One. How insensitive of you! Oh my god! This guy wanders this way. Pull up a dex check for him. That's a fail. He stumbles off a cliff. This blind demon wanders this way and trips over this rocky ledge, taking a minor tumble, splashing into the water where he flails. Um, on the shore, let's see what we've got here. Uh, the commander will, will, re will retreat to cover. Taking these hydras with him. Taskmaster steps forward. All the poor dogs. Kind of sniff skeptically at the uh, at the water, but the taskmaster cracks his whip, and they reluctantly step into the water. Um, very slowly and awkwardly cross this reef. Hmm. Splashing like awkward dogs that have never been to the beach. Flipping from reef to reef. Um, I think that is it. Let's do second attacks. Uh, can I get a look on this Taskmaster or not? The Taskmaster is... is... Dip in the way. Yeah, you can definitely take a shot. I think I'll give... Let's zoom out and see. Uh, that seems like a clear enough shot. Minus two for range, but... Otherwise, fine. Otherwise, no cover. Goodness. Uh, hit, hit. Let's see. That clears by... First one's three times damage. Second one is just double for the bless. Is three three times is uh it's it's right. a regular crit it's just a single crit but it's blessed so you get an extra damage die right okay so okay plus two d six plus two Ooh, is that, that's, that's both shots uh that's both shots yes right. uh, why did that not do that for me um get that in my head uh couple of uh, hearty blows, but not enough to bring the Taskmaster down. Um, and on the front lines, let's make our second attacks. Warriors return fire, and they can get a second glaive attack. I swung against this one, so find a two. 22 is a hit. It's not a natural 20 or anything, is it? No, it's a nine. Natural yeah. nine. <laughs> So that's just a regular damage double for being blessed. Okay, so it's a step with 70. Nice. That'll be enough to bring this demon down. Makes one final attempt to stab you with a sword. 
18. Okay, it's a miss. It's a miss. It's, um, this demon can step onto the pile and make its second attack. Also missing. Um, three more. Okay, one against. There's just a pile of corpses around me by, by now. Yeah. Business as usual. All right, Rock Grub, 17 misses you. Blind. I'm not used to this. Yeah, right? I'm used to being squishy. All right, this blind demon successfully hits the air behind him. Um, I think we're good on this round. Are there any more second attacks? No, but it's been about an hour. Yeah, seems like a good spot for a break. We'll go ahead and roll initiative on the next, uh, on the other side. All right, um, Neil, go ahead and uh, fade to black. See you in a few minutes.